what's up mga kaplastik panibagong araw panibagong vlog na naman guys kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel mag subscribe ka na and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga ina-upload na mga videos so uh, ito nga guys uh, i-review -re natin tong nabili kong camera last week ay last week ba yun? Last, last last week yun so uh, ito yung unbox ko na dati ka inunbox ko na nung nakaraan kasi trinay ko siya, sinubukan ko siya so uh, bago natin na uh, i-review -re to ah uh, eto nga pala yung mga free niya guys. May free siyang ganito. Ito ito. Ay mo ta tawag dito. Yung bag niya. <laughs> Dapat dito may ganito. May strap siya. Mga plastic tapos. May free na rin siya na memory card 16 GB. And ano pa? Yun lang. Ginagawa so, uh, ko nga guys, uh, nung nakaraan ginamit ko na siya. So nasubukan ko ano yung mga yung quality niya about the sa video, sa audio. So eto nga mga kaplastik, uh, eto yung review natin. So uh, sisimulan na natin. Canon PowerShot SX730HS Review Features Half point 3 inch CMOS sensor 20.3 MP 24 to 960 mm f/3.36.9 zoom lens 3.0 inch tilting screen 922000 dots As is often the case the trade-off for such a long lens is the size of sensor the half point 3 inch type used in the Canon PowerShot SX730HS is the smallest currently used in such cameras, although with a back illuminated architecture it should be able to capture light more efficiently than more conventionally designed types. The sensor offers 20.3 MP, the same as the previous SX720HS model, and works with Canon's Digic 6 processing engine. Much like its rivals, the PowerShot SX730HS has a 3.0-inch LCD screen that turns all the way around to face the front, and this is supported by a range of selfie-friendly modes, such as self-portrait and smooth skin. Such features, together with built-in Wi-Fi, NFC and always-on Bluetooth technology for easy sharing of images, leaves you in no doubt which segment of the market this camera is aimed at. Unlike some 4K-enabled rivals, such as the Panasonic Lumix TZ90 and Nikon Coolpix A900, the PowerShot SX730HS's video mode is limited to Full HD. If you don't ever shoot video this may not bother you, and the fact that the camera records at up to 60p is nice to see, but Canon's reluctance to include 4K video on anything but its more impressive models is disappointing particularly as the option is now becoming standard on cameras of all classes. Build and Handling Metal and Polycarbonate Construction Compact Rear Control Dial Weighs 300 grams As is fairly common on such cameras, the LCD screen is mounted on a single hinge, which means it only moves upwards. This makes it less flexible when shooting above head height, but this is a minor point. In any case, the overall impression is a camera that's built sturdily, with no obvious points of weakness and dimensions that allow it to slip into a pocket where some rivals would be too large. The trade-off for incorporating an LCD of this size and type on such a small body is that the rear control dial is a little small. This, combined with the fact that it's slightly recessed into the backplate, rather than flush with the level of the screen, means it's difficult to turn without hitting the side of the LCD. Hi guys, the video you're seeing right now is from the camera SX730HS PowerShot Canon in a vlog style format. Have the screen flip up and I set the camera in which will shoot a very smooth video for the vlog style shooting. And the audio you hear right now is being recorded directly into the Canon since this uh, device don't have the ability to have the external mic, so, but totally it was amazing guys. D. Pulling the LCD screen upwards a little is one way to get around this. 
performance. 5.9 FPS burst shooting, approximately 4.6 with F. 250 shot battery life, 355 in eco mode. Intelligent is. When set to burst shooting the power shot SX-730HS perseveres at its 5.9 FPS maximum frame rate for around 7 to 8 frames before slowing. The inclusion of Canon's more recent Digic 7 processor would no doubt help here, but it's possible the company doesn't see a demand for such performance among its target audience. The LCD display isn't the brightest at its default settings, but you can easily adjust this via the menus. In good light it does a decent job of presenting scenes accurately, but it does lack the bite of some screens we're seeing elsewhere, particularly in low light, where noise takes over and contrast dips. So ayun na guys, it's all up on this review. <laughs> Yon, napainis tuloy ako nang wala sa oras mga kaplastik. So uh, hoping you all guys understand what I'm talking in this vlog and Sorry for the words or any, any other thing you, know, you, can, uh, you don't understand because <laughs> I can speak English but not fluent, fluent okay? Uh, so, uh, eto na nga guys, magtatagalog na ako. Ito, hanggang dito na lang guys ha. Sana tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pag-support nyo sa akin. So, uh, kung di pa kayo na pag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aming mga videos. Sa akin mo, sa aming Madam Trisha ang mga videos. So, uh, hanggang dito na lang guys.